What is up guys, it's Babushka here. Today, I'm bringing you guys a video on how to peek corners properly in Valorant, so let's dive right into it. Alright, so, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for a thousand subscribers. Um, yeah, I actually never thought I would actually grow it to a thousand. I just started this channel a couple of years ago. So, um, for fun actually. Just started with like some Destiny gameplays and... Now I'm onto Valorant and lately I've been uh, liking actually Warzone so let me know if you guys want to see some Warzone videos. Uh, if not, I'll, I guess I'll just keep it to Valorant for now. But yeah, so without further ado, let's dive right into the video. Alright, so put quickly, a lot, of, a lot of people don't peek properly in Valorant, right? A lot of people actually are scared to peek. Even though they peek, they're, they're scared to do it. They'll hold the shift key, right? They'll walk out, right? And they, they think that it's like sneaky or something. I don't know what goes on to, in their brain, but the reality the reality is, if you peek slowly by walking like that, you're actually giving the advantage to the other player. So the reason behind that is that it's uh, due to the perception in the game, right? So the closer you are to an object, the lower your field of view. So right now, I can only see this, but this other player that's right there can actually see me already, right? I might not see him, but he might see me already, like the half of my body. I can't see my feet, <laughs> but this half right there, he actually might see it, right? So, or actually not might, like he does see it. So right now he sees the top of my head from here and the half of my body from here. So he actually can land some shot on me. Now I can fire through here, but I don't I don't see him. There's no, there's no advantage to that. So the way you actually want to peek is, don't be scared now. You strafe out, not too far away from cover you don't want to strafe out here because then it takes too long to get back here we want to strafe out just close enough to cover and back in close enough to cover back in close enough to cover back in and the way you do this is you press a and stop with d so by stopping with d it stops the acceleration on your um character that's like the gameplay algorithm the way the game works so by pressing d it stops the acceleration on your character and then you shoot press d a right so you stop again a d d a a d d a a d d a a d right and this strafing method so this is how to peek properly right but just a quick side note the strafing method let's say i'm at uh, a long range battle with someone here that doesn't have an up right if someone has an up don't try to do a long range battle unless you're actually a pro and you can uh, always land headshots because chances are he'll hit you like in the hips and you'll die right <laughs> so yeah if it's an op just take cover and go somewhere else but if it's like vandal versus vandal or vandal versus phantom whatever just long range battle as long as it's not against a sniper you can use the strafing method to actually change positions and you actually want to take wider like in this case right right here i said take shorter strafes but if it's actually a, like a long range battle in close range it doesn't matter right if it's close range don't try to strafe just kill the enemy and switch around with your mouse but in a long range battle or mid range it can actually help to strafe longer distances because you actually switch positions and the enemy has to move his crosshair and then he's going to be confused with the recoil pattern of his gun so you want to do like that you want to practice at keeping your crosshair in the same place as you strafe right because if I just let my mouse alone, C A D A D D A A D D A. Now I'm shooting here. So you gotta keep your crosshair at the same level. Right? So it makes it harder for the other um, player to hit you, but it makes it easier for you to actually reset the recoil pattern, right? So every time you actually switch positions and stop. By doing large strafes, it actually resets the recoil pattern. So you can just tap once, twice, three, four. See, just some quick one taps, and it's always at headshot level over there. Now, to come back to this, um, to peeking corners, peeking corners, uh, you can also combine it with crouch shooting. So, when you peek corners, you might wanna, right, if you know someone's there, and you peek once, right? So never peek a corner first with a crouch like that because 
you see how it slows down this the movement of my character so by the time i'm like crouching from here to here you're actually gonna react slower than the other player because you're actually moving slow on his end right if you're sh if you're like moving from here to here by crouching but you're slow it's just easy it's just too easy for the other guy and it's just gonna confuse you more now the thing where you might want to use crouch shooting is let's say you peek shoot right and you know he's there now you might want to like that right so you peek out first and then crouch so you don't as you're peeking out you don't crouch is you peek out crouch but in a like in one motion if you want so left down right not diagonally so <laughs> left down and then this makes it harder for the other guy because his brain will register that you only come out to the side once again because he already seen you peek once like that so he's gonna be like he's gonna put his cross crosser right here and you as you peek out like right here you crouch right you crouch so you peek out like a little a distance of a little different and you crouch so then he's gonna have to readjust his crosser the, the point is always in Valorant you want you don't want to let the other player just put his crosser somewhere and not make him rethink of where you are in terms of crosser placement for him so you don't want to like if someone's peeking me here and he always peeks the same distance and he always like keeps peeking forward like that it's just way too easy i'll just have to set my crosser right here and wait till he peeks shoot one try he said but if he switches it up then it's harder i did not mean to do that but <laughs> yeah if he switches it up it's actually harder for me it's because um if he takes like a, a larger strafe on the second or third times he third time he peeks then i have to move from side to side i have to if he crouches uh, after he peeked out i have to um down my crosser more more than what i actually needed to so it's harder for me to land a headshot now another thing i want to cover for peeking um if you actually want to peek and be sneaky in a way right so let's say you know there's someone like in this area you heard footsteps and you're coming from here what you want to do is you don't want to peek like that you don't want to hold the shift key when you're actually peeking right because you're actually giving the advantage to the other enemy player by peeking way too slowly out of cover so the way you actually want to do it is you actually want to clear angle by angle by strafing doing small strafes right because it remain you remain quiet when you do small strafes um you want to do small strafes no walking no holding the shift key so that way like let's say there's an enemy behind that box right um and someone's hiding right here well he still doesn't hear you right it's the same effect as holding the shift key except that you're actually strafing in on him and if he starts shooting you and you take too much damage you can actually strafe out right so it's a safe way of peeking corners quietly and then once you're done peeking the corners and clearing the angles then you can actually hold the shift key and walk away so this is how i actually peek corners properly and also last note on peeking pro uh, corners properly is um the distance behind cover so the way you actually want to peek in valorant to give yourself an advantage you, you never want to be too close to cover so a wall a box whatever it is if you're actually close you're actually giving yourself um like restricted field of vision so this is like taking 80 percent of my screen right now right so most people actually peek out like that right they're super close to the wall and they're like oh well i see more because i see here and i see this i see this so you actually have like a bigger field of vision once you peek that might be the case but you actually have less cover because if someone's actually right there they have a better angle on you than you do because you actually have to peek out even further to actually get a proper shot on them you can start shooting here but it's pretty inaccurate right you actually want to get a better field of vision on the enemy player so you're actually going to be full out blown out of cover if you want to peek this guy now the way i do it I peek um, places for everything is I always try to stand back from cover right so I'm still 50% covered from here but the enemy player doesn't see me from there he doesn't see me from there he sees all the way to here maybe so or he might see my shoulder but he's not seeing half of my body right here I hope you get the point um, just the further away you are the actually better the cover is and the easier it is it, like it's all in terms of a uh, game perception and algorithm in a way that like if you peek out 
here, the strafe that you have to do needs to be wider because you're closer to the wall to get out of cover and to get back in cover. Then here, here's just a quick out, a quick in, out, in, out, like that. But here, it's a bigger out and I'm more uh, on display for the enemy to actually shoot and kill me. So this pretty much does it for how to peek corners properly in Valorant. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And once again, thank you guys so much for a thousand subscribers. That being said, it's been Babushka. Peace.